Hey, so what is a kink? Is a kink genetic or is it a trait? Well, visibly it looks like a trait. This is a gene. There was an actual study done. Well, not even a study. A guy took a boxer to a corgi to solve the UK's challenge with not allowing docking tails. That's a whole nother thing. But what is a kink? Well, depending on where it's at on the spine, it could cause paralysis long term if it's up in this region right here. Down here, right at the sacrum, and at the edge, and well, this is just not even a full tail. Look, I did a video live on Instagram where I go into the importance of asking your bully breeders if they're breeding more bulldog into their bully program or more staffy slash pit, if you would. Dave Wilson said he built this thing based on a staffy and a pit bull. The goal was to make a better pit bull or a pit bull with more muscles. This right here is indicative of bulldog trait. Where did this come from? Dax, AKA Gotti Line. With an I, not a Y. Ed did a great job of promoting, producing, and showcasing Dax. The one lie that's constantly been told is that there was no bulldog in Dax. There's bulldog in Dax. I have a dog heavy, I have with a heavy Dax pedigree. Three of my dogs with an outcross female with more of a terrier have kinks in their tail. Stay tuned as we break down this more.